Hello everyone, this is Yours Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Tron Warlord Liu Bei Let's Play. We continue for episode 3 from turn 35 in the summer season of 197. So, we have ourselves a very strange looking border. We stretch very long and thin, and hopefully we'll turn that around as we conquer the rest of Jianning here. One of these army will move just down to the borders. Let's see if they build a new army. They have. We're ready to fight them. And this army has been defeated by Wei Yan plus the garrison with the administrator helping us out. We're not at war with them, so we'll just stay around and hang out just to keep an eye on them. But I think mostly we'll be fine. Our assignment is here for next two turns. We either upgrade this to small city, which I think is a must, or we do this first. Let's do one turn so we can still use him on the next turn for this, and then we can just call him back. Everywhere else, I think it's going to be kind of on hold, as we don't want to overspend. We're not particularly rich, so we don't want to waste our money away. Now, a lot of people brought to my attention that the girl we capture is 55. Now, let's not be ageism. She can still be a wife. I mean, our kids are probably going to get uh, those randomly generated. Not randomly generated, but we're going to get the force event. I'm sure Liu Shan will come. So, um, uh, we'll wait. I think we can still patiently wait for Lady Me, if that's a possibility down the line. Just quickly checking over everything. We don't want to peace out with him. Unification prices. Alright, no one's particularly low. Taotian's interesting, because I think he's down to one territory, but, uh... Doesn't look like he's going to be joining us. I hope he gets destroyed quickly, though. Okay, that's just way too much. Hmm, they're still moving this way. We have a deal with them, should be okay. Okay, they're fighting a neutral. Ooh, we got a weapon. We can't get gold weapons until we upgrade tier 3, so we're gonna need an artisan as quickly as possible. Another humble character. I mean, they can be good court assignment characters, I guess. Where did the army go? Are we gonna get ambushed? I'm a little concerned. There's no reason why it would just disappear. Oh, I don't have a bad feeling about this. Wait, they're really just not here? Okay, so this is not their last territory. That makes a little bit more sense. Oh, right. They have all of Mulu, so they have a good half of Zelju. That's their capital, so that's the last two they have. They retreated. I guess they don't think they can match up to our army, so they decided to just back off. Kind of makes sense. I think we'll take the... We'll take the active. There's no rush. You rank up rather fast here because the max rank is 15, so we're already rank 9 and, you know, barely 30 turns in. Okay, so we got that upgraded, and we did capture a new territory. Lots of hunting area for food. We're gonna get this upgraded and then just cancel him, reset him to somewhere else. Maybe here again, because obviously this is one of our more lucrative areas. Everywhere else can sort of wait. There's no rush to go higher tier. And we'll continue to save up money for our second army. We can increase tax right now. Now the first drop is six points of public water. And right now we don't really have that luxury everywhere. And I think we don't really want to tank our public water in case it hurts our emperor status. 
which has been very difficult to rise. Did we not finish this mission? I thought I did. Did I do the math wrong and we just didn't give him enough food? Or did he spend more food? Because I can't provide him any more at this point because we already gave him as much as possible. I mean, we can't do multiple deals at the same time, so that's a bit unfortunate. I mean, looking at the math, at point one, it should have been it should have been set, so I think he either lost some land or something weird on his side. I think there's nothing else for us to do. We just keep attacking Ahuina until we take all his territory. And then we swing back through Zanku. And this army behind is going to be a little annoying for the newly conquered counties because the garrison is not going to be kind of ready for that. And we have to pick a direction and we're not sure where that whole stack went. We could technically peace out first. Oh, we know where the stack is now. Alright, Zanku tribe. So they were here. They're fighting them, and they lost to the Dion tribe, so they got denied entry towards us. Sinister Strike. I'm guessing it's a cone-shaped splash. They're on march. Ahuina himself. I feel like we take that fight. It's in our territory. He's on march. It's a freebie. And we get replenishment after. So I'm going to save some time here. Not really worth fighting right now with the units that we have. Alright, we'll let him flee away. We're right here. Zhang Fei will pick up his roar. And then we'll test out this ability next. Determined. Okay, with only 2k positive income, I don't think we'll get anything. No turncoats. I guess the only exciting thing we can wait for is spring. Let's reassign. I mean, upgrading the port doesn't really do us that much. This upgrade has more significance, especially since we do have a little bit of corruption now. Hmm. Do we want to commit him over here? I think we still want to commit him in Dianning for the long run. We can upgrade this, we can upgrade this, we can build a new building. We'll assign him next turn, basically. Alright, so I think we're good. We're still replenishing. They're still stuck. They're still stuck. We can go take this. Now, I, I think I'm going to recall him because I might need him here. Because this, this is going to become vulnerable here. We could summon her. Zhang He needs a whole new retinue. Kind of pricey to summon him, though. We're a little bit cheap at this point. Hopefully we don't have to go invest too much here just for a temporary stack. We'll still be around next turn. We'll be here. Wow. Coalition just with Zhang Lu. They're paying us a lot. I still think we say no. I think Wei Yan's enough here against this. Right. It's just Zhang Lu means they broke up. I don't want to be the rebound guy. Alright, we have a chance to ransom Cai Yan next turn. Could be a good strategist for us. Maybe even a marriage target of sorts. So I guess we don't need a strategist here. 
We can probably save money by just using Wei Yan as someone to guard this. Uh, I don't think it's a better weapon, so no. We replenish pretty well. Now eventually we have to redo Zhang He's unit, but we could probably wait until a better timing for that. Thousand. All right, we can afford a thousand. These are not units we want to keep. All right, since we're not replenishing here, we're going to pick up some supplies. Kind of buffer this a little bit. We still want our guy happy. 50, 50 is kind of hard to boost back up. 44, 54, 54, okay. Um, boost in the 60, 44. We don't really have a lot of good ways to deal with that. Administrator and still unhappy with all these items. He has other issues. All right, throw him back here. Spree next turn. We have the positions filled. We actually should have moved him. But that's fine. Too lazy to do it now, even though we get slightly more money. All right, I think we're good. Once we take Delger, we're going to be bordering Shixie's faction. I think in the beginning piece, we focus on. Not ready bump into him. No, this is the Oyan back. Another old guy. He is another weird situation with us. We obviously want to find him eventually. But right now, maybe want to keep him friendly until we conquer these difficult terrains. Oh, so they're going to double team us with two stacks. Well, I'm glad we summoned a second general. It's not just Wei Yan, but uh, I think we're going to be okay. Five very low health generals plus a bunch of really low health units. We have towers. We have a few units and obviously two generals. The only thing we have to be careful is we don't get army lost. So we don't really want to lose our units. So what we're going to do with them is have them kind of run out to that side. And just kind of hide away. Now, if they have any sort of relationship, so she's related to one of the new generals who came. It's going to be a problem for us. Go, go pretty deep, go far away. Uh, now, I don't have really fire or anything like that. Alright, you don't have any relationship. We can go kill you. And they also don't have cavalry units, so they can't chase us down. We don't want to get tangled with their infantry, though. Mm. Leave her alone. She could probably rout. Why am I so slow? Feels like she's losing health for no reason. Let's pull them over here. Let the tower do its thing. One more shot, she's dead. <laughs> he equipped himself with the bell. 
Now, who has the elephant? Who got Mugu's elephant? Alright, you're kind of slow. I'm gonna put you on the side. Technically, like, the speed difference is only three. It's going to be a lot of tower work. Okay, four of the generals have some sort of relationship with each other, so I expect a few of them to get healed up when one of them dies. And when they do, hopefully we can duel them. Why are they so interested in just Wei Yen, though? No one even split off to go chase after her. I mean, it's just like... Trail of Tears. Dead bodies dropping. Alright, when's one the general gonna die and we're gonna get a duel? That's what I'm waiting for. I'm on towers, they're all so low. Looks like this guy's probably gonna go down next. Now if I leave you here, do they do they care? Do they chase you or do they still follow me? Oh, well, we feel rather honored. That doesn't work. You can't aim the towers since like the first two patches. Used to be you can. Just not anymore. Yes, I'm sure we're all tired. Yeah, look at look at the marching on some of those units. Are the towers even shooting? It's like explosive when it hits the ground. I want to keep them in like this crossfire area so at least we get multiple towers doing the same thing. Ooh, 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 ooh. hold on. Really now. Really now. They all have terrible weapons. Okay, we got chunked pretty hard here. Mm, spears unit. I don't want to bump into the spear unit. Do not dismount me. Oh, they're finally chasing after her? Looks like they are. We still didn't kill a single one. Or oh, actually, actually one died. And no one healed. Interesting. Wait, 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 wait. So she has a close relative boost left. They are are they who who's your relative? No one else is a relative. I'm confused.
军四散而逃，到底是无胆鼠辈。We're gonna pull them back with the stepping on the. Yep. Technically, can't really fight them. Charge through. Oh, did did did, did we just see a general get flattened? In? Oh, we just saw two generals get flattened right in front of the tower. And no one's healing off of that. Guess there's no dueling. Say the tower is not killing fast enough. We want them to stand here. Yeah, just, just stay here. Just stay here. Perfect overlap. Yeah, everyone just freeze. They don't know what to do. And then when they approach. We are gonna go right there to force them back. Then we reset another general down. They're pretty resilient though. Like that unit's almost gone, and they're still just fighting on. There we go. All right, you have 3.5k. Do you want to snipe him? Finally. Might be capturing quite a few people with heroic. Zhu Got the bell. Twenty-three years young, one-eyed and weak. We're gonna pass. They're gonna be able to hold this. We don't need to worry about it. Oh, Tao Tian's dead. Is the faction wiped, or just Tao Tian's dead? Okay, so this finally triggered. Someone else helped him, or he helped himself. Regardless, we. Do gain some points. Adoption put okay. So this is Guanping's story from romance. Uh, they meet Guan Jing, who has the same surname as Guan Yu. They have a son who, you know, thirsts for adventure. 
All right, Guanping, accept. Now this is fictional because Guanping historically is a real son uh, to Guan Yu, biological. But the reason why they had to change the story for a romance is because Guanping was born too young. So he wouldn't be able to be written in for a lot of the battles. So they sped him up by having him as an adopted older son. Uh, we are going to grab her. Our roster grows. Zhang He ranks up. I think we take the abilities. Wenping. Vanguard General 16. Okay. Like, we know Guan Yu didn't have a son by this time. Like, he wouldn't be 16 if we're talking about the bio, the historical Guan Ping, because the reason when they were killing Lu Bu and Guan Yu was asking Cao Cao if he could uh, get Lady Du as his new wife after the battle, and the reason why he was going to switch wife is because he complained that his current wife was not giving him any sons. So we know even up until the Battle of Xia Pi, Guan Yu didn't have any sons yet. So if you think about it, after Liu Bei escapes, Guan Yu escapes, you know, we're thinking early 2000s when they finally settle down in the Jin province, maybe Guan Yu finally has a son. So by the time Guan Yu dies, his son is younger than 20. So Guan Ping wouldn't have seen any action until he pretty much gets killed with his dad. So you can't really write him in as a general before that point. Now in game, looks like we have Sweeping Arc into the breach. I think we're gonna grab this first. He is not family because Guan Yu's not on the tree. Taiyan comes in. Satisfaction for all characters. What's the set bonus? Morale boost. Nightingale. I guess she could be an okay wife character. We get like a little bit of public order, a little bit of character experience. Honestly, not a great. Five points of faction-wide support. If she's faction leader, she gets another bonus, but that's kind of odd too. She will most likely be a commander on the field. We do need strategists, so we're going to go the trebuchet route here for her. So the administrator will pick up some more income. Those are rather useless. I am not quite fond of Guan Yu's position here. I think we take the set item. Guan Yu's proposals are kind of bad, so we might move Guan Yu away from that post. All right, we're going to pick two again. The military side of things, we haven't really cared. We can do level 4 in buildings. Spies hasn't really worked out for us yet. We need the artisan, which actually requires this building here. So let's just preemptively grab that. And then aside from that, eventually we're going to need some corruption. So this path needs to be taken too. Well, as, as this side too. Hmm. Alright, we're gonna grab this first. We'll finish this building at least, and then we'll think about this tree here. We do have one copper mine already. Alright, should be able to grab this for free. Nobody really home. Okay, I mean, they have the proper sub-building already. Uh, hello, friend. You want to be friends? So it looks like he has some military force. Do you have any of your chest? Want to be at least friendly? Not quite. Hmm. We could throw him a food just to keep him kind of neutral for now. Probably throw in an item. We have a couple of really useless stuff that we're not going to use. 
河豹之木，生于毫末。Let's keep him sidelined. All right, we're gonna boost into the next tier, but it's gonna slowly come back. I mean, given that Unbreakable is taken out of the game, or mostly taken out of the game, that bell is actually not bad. All right, so we're gonna want a state workshop here. There's so many things we want to build here. Looks peaceful everywhere else. Uh, Noe has started to expand into Sini's territory down the back foot. Or actually, Sini's. Well, he he kind of skip, skipped over territory. He used to have that one, but he's now here only. We will just take care of this and then worry about everything later. Still no turncoats. I don't think we let Ahuinan live. Plus, we want the tea for ourselves. So I think this is just where we are. Decent amount of money. So if we, we could potentially fire him. He's a little bit old, and we now have a better choice for strategist. So he can, like, firing him would save us some money. And we have those event triggers. All right, so after this, I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move Guan Yu here. I'm gonna move Zhang He here, and then Guan Yu might not come back. We might put someone else because the recommendations he's been giving based on his traits, not very good. Don't really like them. I want to try to get some better ones. I thought Zhang Ke. Oh, that's Dong Tonat, right? So Zhang Ke doesn't own Zhang Ke. Dong Tonat owns it. But oh, there should be a war with us. Ah, there they are. No, no, no. no, no. There's, there's, there's nothing you can offer right now. After we take your tea, you can do it again. They're going to put it on siege. Oh, they're trying to make a push now. So. We have some urgent business. Hmm. I think what we're gonna do is first. I think they can delegate this. No. We have to go fight them on the field. They got new generals because. All right, we'll let them siege us. It's fine. We'll go take their base. Just give us one more turn. We'll take it, and they'll lose. And then we can peace out with them. If they want to siege and fight, they'll take two. I don't want them to go this way. I don't mind them coming here. What we can do is invest in a decent retinue for the administrator and have him set things up here. Let's grab that. One more turns here. So we're gonna summon him. We're gonna recruit. I think four saber infantries and two cavalry should be good enough. And then we instantly recall he'll be ready in the garrison by next turn, and we should be okay. And the main army will rush back. Ooh, we have artisan now. All right, that's pretty much it for our own territory. Hmm. Value so low. Taoying still hangs on by a threat. Okay. Yeah. Now, now we're gonna dip below. I think. 
because the default decay is minus three, our food surplus only plus two. We can't target ourselves. I, I don't want to spend points to target others. Well, the change is nice because now all the factions struggling to keep positive points. It's not terrible. They might want to attack. We have no interest in becoming his vassal. Yeah, the best shot is actually to attack. And we just have to defend again. Rather annoying. Their generals actually healed up because they replaced a few of them. But maybe we get a duel out of that. That's actually better for us. Where, where's the actual attacking force? Are they in the forest? To make sure they're not like hiding here and just gonna ambush us, we're gonna send these boys this way this time. Oh, they're waiting on the side there. Oh no, they are here, they are here, they are here. You guys don't have a general. Oh, you guys have a general. Don't want them to go in. We want them to go go group up with them. Sure, you don't want to fight us. You're at rank four. None of you want a piece of us. Have we not magically healed? We actually really want to stay away from them this time if they're not dueling. Yes, we can. Oh, oh, we, we encourage them to not go in. They're chasing fast. They're chasing fast. Get a charge target, get a charge target. Come on. Alright, we got them back in the little loop. Sahuna, which one in your faction got the elephants? No one here? This fatigue is going to kill us. Oh, what are they doing? Are oh, they just lining up? They're just lining up. Okay. They feel like their formation is too stretched and they want to line it up. Take your time. Take your time. There you go. Yeah, their lack of cavalry, their lack of fire units really make things simple for us. Oh, not hidden. There we go, fixed it. Four of you are like full health. Fight us. I think the best thing we can hope for is a draw here. 
Their general's just way too healthy if they don't want to duel. It will be fine. Going takes their last piece of territory, and then we can sign a diplomatic peace to deal with them, and they can't say anything. They lost one. Lost the low health one. She's dipping below. Why does no one want to fight us? Formation's kind of bad. You guys want to rest up a little bit? I could use a break. No? This group is just dashing for infantry. Pretty fair. You have like three abilities. No dueling. It's so funny that these units aren't going in, even though right now it's probably faster for them to go in to get to the other side. Yeah, how are the infantry so off speed? don't understand. Okay, all the ones in the bed. Oh, finally someone's kind of going in. Uh, got routed. Uh, they went in because we're on this side now. They're, they're all over the place. All right, when the four generals dash me together, that might be a problem. They have every gate except for this one. So what we have to do is send her out to go capture that. They have every single tower. Okay. She's stuck on some unit. It's like a few unit there. Wait, wait why are you stuck stuck? Wait, 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 what's going on here? We can leave, right? We don't have to stand here. Wait, how are we... Hmm. I feel like the mod has some weird changes to unit responsiveness. Because Guan Yu wasn't attacking archers in our first battle, and now I feel like we can't even get her to ignore, like, a match combat there. Right. If she's... If she's not gonna leave, we're just gonna stand there and kill, kill the infantry. We're on foot, he's mounted. We should have the vantage here. He's just charging us though? Oh, we gave you an ax, a silver ax. Chop him up. He's not charging anymore. How do we, we lose this? Four twenty-five, one hundred three, forty-four evasion. Okay, evasion difference kind of sucks, but she should be hitting faster on foot. I guess her axe damage is not as high. I'm guessing this is another mod based change because this weapon damage feels very high for what it is. Alright, 
Alright, sorry I called you out here, but she lives. She lives. Alright, they can sit inside. We'll sit outside. It's the same thing. It'll time out and uh, it'll be a draw. Technically, she's the only unit that's visible. Are they just going to chase her a little bit until she disappears, and then they're going to scatter and look for the last unit position? They'll never reach us in time. Yep, she's actually being useful. She's pulling them this way to the edge of the map. And then they either dash for my location here, or they start scattering and scouting because they have no vision of anyone. Let's see what the AI does here. What's the programming? Oh, they know the last location. Okay, that's fair. And that's it. They can't reach us. Not within the time span. Uh, Tower did their thing for as much as possible. Yeah, I don't think they can reach us. We're actually out of vision again because of the slopes. We'll just stare them down for about a minute. Triple speed should be fine. Too bad we're not going to win and be able to take some of the items. It's like, I promise, I'm not a coward. It's not my doing. I was told to sit in the corner. Yeah, they lost vision a long time ago. They can't find it, so they're going to scout around. Just kind of like in a, you know, spread out fashion. And they just can't find us, and it's going to be timed out. Sad for Ahonan to go down this way, but uh, this will make our job a lot easier. And we get unity for that. Awesome. Wait, how did he move that fast and that far? Well, he, he's going to come back for a last stand. They have arrived. Well, last stand or not. I just have a huge garrison here. Right, we'll give him a proper fight at the T-Terrace. As we kind of cheesed him twice with the looping. Technically has more men, but his generals are kind of in bad shape. And uh, they don't really match up in quality. And we have fire arrows now. Get them here.
Oh, we can roar too. Oh, there's a there's a willing fighter to Guan Yu. That that's that's brave. Exactly hidden. Alright, we're gonna do one roar right in the middle. It's all defensive. Only when stronger enemy? Really? Oh no, we don't want to fight the spear. Wait, can you fight Guan Yu instead? Yes, that's much better. Alright, we're never going to have a stronger enemy here. Pick that guy up. Every rear flank. All right, let's kill their faction leader. Kill him. All right, pull them back. Turn half of them around. All right, you two fire here. You two fire here. You two fire here. Jonfei finishes this off. Avery pull back. Alright, if we can kill it with our range, we don't need to use our units. Really feasible now. Alright, should be army loss soon. Give Liu Bei himself the boost, go help him out. Alright, we gave him a fair fight. Well, not really. He had a pretty rough previous battle, but uh, overall, not too bad. Even if they were at full strength, it wouldn't really have mattered. Alright, 
All right, not so bad. Do they still want to fight? So we officially get the faction wipe. But a peace out got paid, but I think it's fine too this way. Hmm, we'll test this out to see what this does. Oh, it looks like we can get other more points in this to pick up the replenishment. Interesting. Alright, at this point, we probably just want some more replenishment here. We have three water clock now. Interesting, too. We... How do we reinforce this? Do you guys really want to fight us? I guess they do. We'll just make our way back. He's decently decked out. We need to get these two. But we can go the long route here. Or we can go down. His unit has some cavalry. Mighty knockback on himself. Public water for the minister. Yeah. Uh, this is fine. This is all minor. Oh, finally. We have our first turncoat. What a roster. My god. With these mod, are generals free for the AI faction? He has Dalwing as well. What? Yeah, and everyone's super happy, which is why we had such a difficult time finding one of these. Oh, Zhou Yu's son. But where is, where is Zhou Yu? Plus eight. They're all so happy. I don't know if we can grab anyone. <laughs> uh, we can pick up some empowered trade. Oh, just extra faction wide boost for us. There is no general that we can summon that can immediately help, but just having an extra general on the field, I think, is not bad. We know we know Jungle needs to change units later. It's good that he works well with Du Ji and Tai Yan. Okay. Maybe it's time to just set up our, our second army. They sit here. The Red News, you know, these militias come half mustard already so that's not bad we just need to give them some decent weapons just a little bit of extra cunning Alright, should be fine. Wow, rank 5. So, I guess the food deal is there. They're not really gonna be our best pals, but maybe they can be our trade partner. Oh, we can trade with... Okay. Um, might need some help to force that trade through. It's nice to gain a 
possible new partner. When is this deal expiring? Oh, it's expired already. Okay, we can go to war with them soon then. We'll be doing that on the way back. Ah, uh, they have vision of us now? Our spy is giving us a lot of vision of Sun Tzu's territory. <laughs> oh, they're bypassing it because it's too well defended. Oh, the Han is wiped. Well, hopefully Tzu wipes them out. Imperial favor, ancestral right. Oh, we have to pay basically tributes for favor. Uh, we will love to. Let's send a, a civil official. We don't have much money. We get nothing from that event. We just get 12 points. Okay. Don't buy is available. Previously from High Empire. Maybe she can be the wife. Jiang Qin, why are you not going to Sun Ce's faction? Viscerate, Roar of the Might. Yeah, now I feel like Zhang Fei's roar is just like gutted. Only when he's down? I mean, it kind of makes sense. Ah, Lu Hmm. We might grab him. As another strategist for ourselves? Yeah, the fondness for Sun Ce, and they're not going to him. Okay, they came to us at a pretty bad time because we're kind of poor. <laughs> and we can't... Ooh, fugitive officer, but I think they, they nerfed all... Yeah, there's no poison volley anymore or else we'll just jump on this. Uh, so after sending the emperor our best wishes, we don't have any cash for recruiting, but we are we're boosting this quite a bit. We're trying to bypass this to kind of go behind us. It's not gonna work. Now we're not gonna be back in position quick enough, but looks like the militia already mustered up. And if we happen to have night battle, which we do. We can isolate and at least crack one of them. I think we should just delegate and kill the little one behind. And we're back in the range of the settlement. I think with that battle, we can end our episode here. We took out Ahui Nan. We have a few more factions here to wipe out, and then we might take care of this, and then we're going to look at, at Liu Yan afterwards. Basically, the Nanman War is coming to an end. Now, we don't have friendly Han neighbors, but overall not looking so bad. We're looking at ownership. Sun Tzu is growing to a mighty empire. Tzu is already duchy. Hopefully he wipes out Taoying and then we can pick up some characters. Uh, don't buy is a potential wife material. We will... Mm, what do we do with this army? This I think we keep them on the field, obviously, but... Like, we need more than a thousand. I guess we have two thousand-ish. We'll pick up don't buy. We might pick up be fun as well. Those are the two key ones. Jiangxin... Also a potential 3k. Post battle loot, maybe. Maybe we'll have enough by that time. We'll see. And that's if we like don't build anything. We can maybe fire her now. Like this set of trait. It's decent, but she's kind of old, and we have so many Han characters coming in. I feel like we can make some space. Administrator, administrator, they're useful. Yeah, everyone else is useful, so maybe we fire her and see how, where that get us. But that's pretty much where things stand. A couple more turns fighting the Nanman, and then we'll turn our attention to actually building Shu proper. And then we have to move the capital as well, and we'll go from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, and see you guys next time. Bye!